All right, flu season is back and with a vengeance mm -hmm. and families are now dealing with COVID-19, the flu and RSV. It's a common respiratory virus. Just yesterday, Pfizer announced a major development in a possible vaccine, one that could be available as soon as next year, but we got to get through this season first. Dr. William Horgan, Bacchus Hospital Regional Medical Director of Quality and Safety, here to explain. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us here this morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. All right, so what is RSV, and why is this so dangerous to young children and even older adults? So RSV is a highly contagious respiratory virus, and it's responsible for many types of respiratory infections that we see in infants and children, as well as even in adults, you know, is one of the most common causes of the common cold. Mm -hmm. It causes bronchitis. It can cause pneumonia. It can cause croup and also bronchiolitis. But in adults, it also can set off their chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or their emphysema or any of their chronic lung diseases. Now, bronchiolitis, though, is the leading cause of hospitalizations in infants under 12 months of age. You know, and that's the biggest concerning one that we're seeing right now yeah. across the state as well as across the nation. Yeah, I you know, know. Most children. Sorry, can you go ahead. I'm sorry. No, most children will have had RSV by the time they turn two years of age. And typically RSV clears up on their own after a week or two. Uh, how did we get it? Do we know? Is it just like the flu or, or just like COVID? I mean, how do, we, how do we get it? Yeah, we're transmitting it to each other. We're giving it to each other. And it's not a gift that we're giving, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we're giving this virus. It's very easy to spread. Um, and that's why we really have to be very cautious. When we are not feeling well, when we are sick, we really have to be conscious of those who were around because we don't want to expose those that are at you know, high risk for infections, those with you know, infants, those that have immune compromise or cancer or anything like that. Uh, so, Doctor, you know, you just mentioned, I, I know that this is a very common virus. Uh, a lot of my friends who've had children, their kids have had it, and some of them have had more severe cases where they've had to really be monitored. What should, what should parents and caretakers look out for in, in their little ones? So, really, you know, symptoms for RSV, like you just mentioned, they range. They can, you know, most of the time it looks like just the common cold, and that's like a runny nose and, a little bit of a decreased appetite, coughing, sneezing, you know, fever and wheezing, according to the CDC. But in some children, especially young infants, RSV can be very dangerous, you know, leading to dehydration, you know, and breathing trouble and serious illnesses. You know, and the things yeah, you really have to look out for are the labored breathing, especially in the newborns and those less than 12 months of age, you know, because that's, you know, showing that they're having trouble with RSV virus. We only have about 30 seconds, Doc, but what can you tell us about the RSV vaccine trial? Mm -hmm. Well, this is something, you know, having dealt with RSV for decades, this is actually so exciting. So Pfizer says that it has enough great promising data on its RSV vaccine um, that it's going to end its trials early and submit its promising data to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The vaccine itself is administered to pregnant women, okay. and they make the antibodies against the RSV. That crosses the placenta, and then the newborn is born with immunity to RSV for the first three months. And the trials have been really promising, and that showed a decrease in 80 percent effectiveness in preventing severe RSV disease, and it's also cut you know baby's risk of needing to see a doctor. Uh, for RSV-related illnesses by 50%. So this is something really promising and really exciting, and hopefully we'll be able to see this by the start of next year. Yeah. Dr. Horgan, you're a wealth of information, and yeah. we can't thank you enough for being on Great Day at 9-8. No problem. You take care. All right, you, you too. too. Stay healthy.